All right, guys, so this right here is the Husqvarna V554. This is a 54 inch standall mower by Husqvarna, and it has the Kawasaki. So uh, that's the FX751V. This is a carbureted engine, it's not fuel injected. So you guys have seen me talk about this mower before, and we've come back around to this mower because I really did enjoy the mower, I liked it. I demoed the mower, <clears throat> you know, for a few days. This time we get to hold on to it for much, much longer. So I'm really excited about it. So this particular mower, like I said, is a 54 inch mower. It does have the saddle tank um, style on it, even though it just has the one tank on the side here. Um, so let's just get with let's just get with a couple things. What we're going to do here is just talk about the things that I do not like on this mower, and let's get right to it. So, really, I'm I'm going to say mainly the only thing I do not like on this mower is still this right here. So they have not changed this design yet. This could have been back here, um, or it could have come out and angled this way. You know what I'm saying? It could have kicked off, come this way. Something has to be done. Uh, the engineers over there need to realize that this is not, this is not a good thing. You can't even pull this all the way up without bending it over and fear of breaking it. You know, you can't even check your oil pre level. You can't do anything with it. Um, they have to change that. I'm not gonna go on and on about it. That was a big gripe on the last one. They haven't changed it, and I don't know if it's a thing with Husqvarna or if it's a thing with Kawasaki. So here's the thing. I mean, Husqvarna designs this, and they get a mower from Kawasaki, but all I'm saying is they have to find a way to talk to Kawasaki and make them understand that this is absolutely, it really makes no sense. That's how bad this is. It makes no sense, okay? Otherwise, otherwise... That's really my only gripe that I have with the mower. This thing is a freaking tank, yo. This thing is awesome. The platform on here, I have no shoes on because that's how we roll the beach. Um, this platform is just great. Whenever you stand into this thing, you know, you don't feel, you know, you have the X mark, um, you know, Starus, and that thing just makes you feel just way too odd. Um, the Pro Stance has one of my favorite, um, you know, platform and, and stances. And for this particular mower, I, I think it's perfect. It leaves you just enough at, at an angle, you know, to where you kind of arch your back back a tiny bit. Your knees can stay bent, um, you know, and I just love it. I think the platform is amazing on this thing. So let's cover some other things. So you got right, you got your choke, you got your throttle, and you got your ignition, obviously. And what's, you know, what's awesome is nothing's in the way. You're not having to go up underneath anything because, you know, some mowers, you have to go up underneath stuff to move the throttle go up underneath it to start it. Um, so this is probably cold starting. So yeah, it hasn't been, it hasn't been running of, um, in a couple of weeks actually. We haven't been able to use it. It's just been too much rain on the one particular property that I wanted to use it on. So here's the e-brake. I love this e-brake, man. It's just, it's, um, it's, this is just big, fat handled, um, stuff they got going on here and I love it. It's just very very easy to use All right, so this right here you have this push pin. Let's get to the deck leveling system um, So you have this push pin it'll come out. Yeah, you know, it pushes in a little ball joint there um, Ball pin ball joint um, So that that's how you adjust everything right so this will all come up. This is so easy You have this little what I call the slap stick. Okay, it goes down there and it's sitting at you know your two and a half inches, right? Um, th this is how easy it is to pull it back. Super, super easy. Slap, stick it forward, pull it back, lean over, change it, blah, 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 slap, stick it forward. This is one of the best leveling systems I've seen on any mower. I have to say, um, as far as comfort, the ease, all of that stuff, on a stand-on mower, this is probably, it's probably the best one. I, I would be honest with you. It, it, it really is. Um, the ease, you know, you slap, stick it there. You can stand here and pull back on it. It's it's ridiculously easy, man. It's they they knocked that one out of the park. I give them that. Um, so that's how you do all the you know deck leveling stuff. I love here they got this net. You can put your phone in here. I got some koozies in here. I gotta give the guys. They're still in here. Um, so you have plenty of storage in here for all kinds of stuff, right? So the handles on this, all right. It's not the most ergonomically comfortable mower I've ever used, 
but it's really good. And the, the hydraulics are very, very stiff, meaning, you know, once you move it, it's moving. You don't have any play. Some guys like that play, some guys do not like it. I do not like when I have to move my hydraulic arm, you know, a good inch or three quarters of an inch and the mower still isn't moving. Like I, I want that, I want the response. You know, if I'm moving it, it's for a reason. I want it to move with me. So you can control this with one hand, um, pretty good. Um, as far as, you know, turning it though, you know, as far as like a, a zero turn, with one hand holding on this, you can't really do it. You have to hold on to the handles right here to do that. Um, but as far as one hand normal operation, you're you're pretty good. I'm able to do it. We're not driving mowers with one hand anyways, but you know what I'm saying. There, there comes a time when we need to hold a hand, you know, with something else like a phone or whatever. And uh, I'll left hand it and drive and we're still good to go. But like I said, if you want to stop and you want a true zero turn, you're going to need to push, you're going to need to finagle it that way. So um, these could be a little bit closer to help out with that. But I, I do like the design though. You know, this comes back, you can see it's kind of setting this, this little V right here, which is pretty cool. It is comfortable when you're, when you're full on going, you're full on backing up. Um, so both throttles totally forward right there. That's, that's pretty nice. Very comfortable. I like the throttle, how it's just completely out of the way. It's not in the way of anything. It's great. And another thing, I'm going to have to give them this. Yo's. I mean, y'all know I got this thing with fuel gauges on mowers. And check them out, okay? Spending the time, spending the money, whatever they got to do. And they put an electronic fuel gauge on here. Bam, bam, bam. Okay? I think it's a big deal. I hate having to search for how much fuel I have in a mower. I give them mad billion tens for that right there alone. That's dope. Okay. I love that. Um, okay. So let's just keep going on. Give them another, another one for having a drink holder in here. Thank you very much for adding the drink holder because, you know, we do need to drink our stuff. And I like when I have somewhere to put it. Um, so otherwise, we do have a mulch kit on this mower. Asked them to put one on here. The thing cuts phenomenal. Y'all saw in the video. Uh, this is a different day, by the way. Uh, my camera took an absolute mad dump that day. And I had to wait for a new camera, and I recently got one. So I'm just now getting back to finishing this up. But I wanted to have it in the same setting. You know what I'm saying? So... As far as the deck leveling goes um, and adjusting it, you can see where you can adjust it right there. Um, as far as adjusting the, the deck, you got back there as well. Let me zoom in there. You guys can see the deck leveling um, nuts and bolts right there. So that's pretty easy. I love the design of this, man. It's one of my favorite. It's in my top two or three. It's in my top two favorite designed stand-on mowers. The stand-on mower they came up with is, is just beautiful. Um, I did tell them though that they need a 36 to go along with this. So yeah, it's just one of my favorite designs. They have the hydro pumps for the tranny um, up here on the front of the deck, which is really different. Allows the engine to sit in the back. But yeah, overall, I think it's great. I love the design. Husqvarna usually knocks everything that they do out of the park. They definitely have to figure out the issue though with that, uh, you know, the, the oil dipstick. That's definitely got to change. The pulleys are definitely nice and tight, you know, encapsulated in here, protected. I see that with a lot of mowers, these protective caps end up coming off. Um, I've had that issue with my skags, both of the skags um, over the years. And I have not, um, you know, I don't really see the way I've pulled these apart. These are in here. I like the way that they're, they're uh, cupped down there. It's really nice, man. But yeah, this is just a really sick, sick machine. I freaking love this thing. All right, the sun is in my face, y'all. The sun is in my face. So yeah, I mean, on a, on a scale of one to 10, overall, the way that it cuts, the way that it handles, um, I mean, the ergonomics on it, um, just the, the ease of use of the machine, the quality of the build, um, the engine selection, um, the front casters on this thing are ridiculous. Um, I, I'd have to give this thing a good solid nine. Um, th there's nothing that I can find wrong with the mower other than that oil dipstick that's really the thing that that's really the thing that irks me a lot um but i you know the electronic fuel gauge is awesome the slapstick style um you know deck leveling system that they got on here 
the thing is just, it's a tank, man. You'll see what I'm saying. We use that term a lot when it comes to machines, um, but this thing is no exception to the rule. This, this, thing, is, this thing is a tank. It, it rocks. Y'all know I love gray. They get a special extra point for adding gray on the mower. I love, love, love gray. I wish more mowers added gray accents to the machines. I just think it looks, I think it looks amazing. Um, but everything on this mower is a go. You know, like it's, it's just pretty killer. There's what, what reason would I not buy this machine? If there was a reason I would not buy this machine, it would probably be because Husqvarna dealerships um, not being in my area. If you're looking for a 54 inch machine, um, there's no reason I would not buy this um, next along, you know, along anything else. I think where they're hurting is they got this in a 48 and they got this in a 54. They don't make a 36, they don't make a 60 or 61. And that's, to me personally, my message to Husqvarna in general is to please work on a 36 and to please work on a 54. I think a lot of guys will not buy machines if they cannot pair them up. I personally don't like buying two different brand mowers with the two different sizes. If I'm buying a 54 or 60 and I need a 36 or a 32 for the smaller backyards, I'm not gonna go buy two different mowers with two different dealers and all that. You know, I like to have the same mower um, brand for that set for a lot of things. And mainly it comes down to maintenance and just getting used to the mower and how it works. You know, both machines, you get used to certain things kind of being similar um, on the machines. That's one thing that um, I really hope that they work on. I would like to see a 60 or 61 inch and a 36 inch or 32 inch mower. Um, that way you can end up, you know, buying a set of these instead of having to just buy, you know, a 54 inch and then find a 36 um, somewhere else. Um, but man, that's it um, for now. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll start throwing this in some more vlogs. And uh, you guys leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Um, the engine on here is great. The build quality on here, the platform, deck leveling system, the fuel gauge system. Um, I mean, just everything is great about it. Just fix that dipstick. All right. But uh, otherwise, man, I got to say I love the mower. I, I love this. Um, we're, we don't use 54 inches on a lot of properties. There's only one property really that we can use this on. So that's the property that we've been using it on. Um, but you know, hopefully my phone's off the chain today. Hopefully, you know, there, there come some bigger options as far as deck sizes in the future. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the machine and until the next one.